Alright, so quick heads up, this video was actually recorded a couple of weeks ago, I'm just now getting the time to put it up, as today is Monday, but this is actually going to be the last Mod Mondays for the channel, as on Friday, I announced that I'm actually discontinuing Fan Game Fridays as well, and I was supposed to upload an update video for you guys on the weekend, but I've been sick, and... Yeah, basically I was getting symptoms when I started recording Sonic Boom Fire and Ice, but I was like, F that, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this for you guys. And then sure enough, it made everything worse. So I've been on a diet too, that's just kind of made it more miserable. But uh, yeah, hopefully if I have the energy, I will upload an update video for you guys later today explaining um, the reasons for the discontinuation of Mod Mondays, Fan Game Fridays, and then also Smash Sundays as well. I'm gonna go into detail on that. But you know, if you all do enjoy mod showcases on the channel and are gonna miss Mod Mondays, you know, leave that like. And uh, I'm gonna announce something soon. Hopefully you all will be happier about it. So yeah. Anyway though, um, I'm gonna take a nap, but uh, yeah, enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanwani456 here today, presenting to all a new episode of Sonic Generations PC Mod Mondays. As for this video, we are going to be trying out the stage and character mod. So I want to give a big thanks to Gavin Quatch for Metal Knuckles, and also to Ali al Kahim for the Dragon Roads Night Act 1. So if you all would like to try these out for yourself, the links are in the description below. And as always, if you all want to keep on seeing more Sonic Generations PC Mod Mondays, alongside Super Smash Bros. 4 Mod Mondays, show me and hit that like button. Well, let's see if we're going to get the like goal of 2,000 likes on this video, and also Smash 4 Mods if you would like to see that as well. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into this right now, huh? Whoa, why was Chip having a seizure? That was like some Sonic Sonic.exe, Sonic CD kind of like stuff right there. Where Chip was just like shaking his head, banging his head on the wall. Alright, quick edit there. I actually had to restart because I had the music entirely off. But alright, so we're going to go on to Dragon Road Act 2. And, uh, oh yeah, this is the ninth stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, I was like, wait a second, isn't it Act 1? But it's Act 2 because we're playing with modern Sonic. So it's technically Act 2. But um, anyway, yo, look at this. This is that Metal Niggles um, character mod from Gavin Quatch, looking nice and clean. And we're exploring uh, China right now. Hopefully we see uh, see my girl Mulan, dude. Yo, if I see Mulan, yo, I am wifing her up immediately, man. Like, she is like fine as you know what, man. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and loot this little house right here. Maybe have enough for a little, uh, have enough for a little Yakamisi date. For, uh, you know, or hibachi date with Mulan. At least I would like that. Now, some of these cameras around here seem a little bit off. Like, I don't know. It's just not the best. And wow, Sonic moves way too fast. Way too fast. At least it's not Unleashed bad. <laughs> like, Unleashed, like, you literally push forward. Sonic's, like, full run. That's why I'm, like, I totally understand why, uh, what is it? Sega thought that they needed a run button. And in some ways, you never know. You kind of think about it, you're like, I could see them using the run button again and it not being bad. It wasn't even bad in Lost World. It was just, in some ways, it was kind of weird, I guess, C considering we were so used to not having to press run, you know? All right, anyways, though, go ahead and get that one up. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, we're on that six god life. You feel me? All right. So I am not going to do that, because first off, screw the Lightspeed Dash. The Lightspeed Dash is freaking Ebola. The only people who like that are memers who are like, Oh, I really want the Illuminati button on my PlayStation. But no. Besides that, no. The Lightspeed Dash is complete and utter garbage, and it does not deserve to exist at all. Not with how laggy and bad it is, and just unresponsive it is. Like, no. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is so cool, though. I love Dragon Road Night, man. Like, one of the best themes in the game. And if you haven't watched my top five, uh, what is it, Sonic soundtracks? Do, by all means, like, for sure. Okay, uh, see there? Look, 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 look. What, what where, where the heck did that send me? Where, where? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Wow, I'm all the way back here. Do you all see what I'm saying? Freaking light speed dash need Okay, yo, 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 yo. It's time. It's time. Change.org. 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 Let's go. Dude. 
Okay. 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 I don't care anymore, man. Oh. Oh. Man. Some of the homing attacks are coming out a little bit late. So, you know what? We're just gonna stick on this upper pathway again. Okay, we got one ring. So, if we accidentally bump into that saw, which we won't. Yo, look at this. Sonic 06 proof. <laughs> We're Sonic 06 and Rust proof. That's crazy. Okay, there we go. Nice. Alright. Man, screw this game! Whoever came up with the Lightspeed Dash was just an evil son of a... You know what? Yo, let's dip. That's literally the only time we've used the boost in this. Just once. Just once. Because this is a night stage, you know? This is basically where the Werehog's supposed to be inhabiting the lands. You know, terrorizing robots with his crazy nails and whatnot. But, uh, yo, alright. It's time. We're coming through here. And then, uh, hitting this here. And then, where are we going now? Okay. Let's go. That thing sent me really, really far back, man. Holy crap. I'm not doing that ever again. I'm, like, never. I don't even know why I'm collecting those. Because if you think about it, when you collect those, you don't even get a one-up. So what's the point? Whoa! That's awesome. Yo, look at where we are right now. This is where we fight the, uh, the Egg Phoenix. Or, I'm sorry, not the, the Dark Gaia Phoenix. Not the Egg Phoenix. Alright, there we go, though. Get ourselves that nice, clean A rank. We could have gotten an S rank if we didn't kill ourselves, but, uh... You know, that's what happens when you mess around with Illuminatis and buttons and whatnot. But, alright, I'm gonna actually be right back because we are going to try and see what the super form is for Metal Knuckles. Alright, so it's time to go to Green Hill Zone. You know where we go to test out our super forms, ladies and gentlemen. Plus, we can finally boost and all that stuff, too, to see what this character looks like. Because in the other stage, you know, we definitely could not boost. Like, if we boosted, that was like death. Except for that one time where, you know, I mean, we had to use it to get to the goal ring, but that was literally it. But alright, it's time, people. I got my 96 lives on deck right now. Wait. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to actually build up our, uh, build up our rings just a little bit more so that we can get a little bit stacked up. You know, and then once we, you know, got it all stacked up, then we can throw some more. And go all crazy with that supersonic ability. Yo, I wonder why we haven't seen Metal Knuckles again. Like, where did he actually... Like, what's his backstory in the video games, at least? I'm curious as to what it is, because... The only time we've ever seen him really is in... Maybe he's in, like, Knuckles Chaotix or something like that? That could be what it is, now that I think about it. I haven't played Knuckles Chaotix, though. Never have. Huh. Maybe I should... I, I, sh I should make that a playthrough sometime on my channel. Um, just don't know... If people are actually interested in that or not, but, uh, you know, we shall see. Yo, but in just a sec, we're about to turn super and see what's Gucci with my boy. Dude, I'm actually having to record all this before a flight. I don't even know how I'm gonna make my flight, man. Make my flight and, uh, make all these recordings get done on time, because... Uh, let's see. I'm trying not to check in a bag or something like that, so I gotta do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? I'm forgetting to turn secret. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yo. Greatest, most glamorous, uh, what is it? Most glamorous, um, super form imaginable. It's just him with, you know, a gold aura. But Jesus Christ, this man is sucking him up! He's sucking up them rings, dude! Dude. That was crazy. Like, literally, for 10 seconds of Supersonic, it takes, like, two minutes to collect enough rings for it. But, uh, there we go. That is it for, uh, the Super Form of Metal Knuckles and the Metal Knuckles and Dragon Road Act 1 Night Mod. So thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, you know, like I said, make sure to hit that like button. I'll make sure to provide you guys Sonic Generations PC Mod Mondays and Smash 4 Mod Mondays. If, uh, you know, the demand is enough for both of them. And if so, then I'll be on, I'll keep, uh, what is it, delivering double uploads on Mondays. But anyway, thanks again. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Republic of Kobanamite. Take care.